This is Robert's first time ever at any sort of film festival. What do you think? I think I'll get the as well. First question is going to go to you, Robert. Where did that Laredo clothing come from? Uh, for those of you who have not seen Laredo, they gave me about 30 costumes, every color of the rainbow, fuchsia, pink, mauve, whatever, whatever. Uh, I had to wear them. I think your question is why did I wear them, why did I agree to wear them? I was on the contract to the studio, and you had no, no option. But the costumes were just one of many surprises. The first major surprise was that I was put in a western. <laughs> I, had, I had seen horses, but I'd never been on the back of one. And uh, uh, I'd probably seen pistols as well, but I never even held one. And uh, the second shock was that I was supposed to be the combination of Errol Flynn, 007, and Casanova. <laughs> and then the third surprise was the costumes, which scared the bejesus out of me because I thought that the viewers might think that I was campaigning to be at the head of the gate parade or something. <laughs> the, the only saving matter was that each of the episodes had some of the most beautiful ladies in, uh, uh, in Hollywood. I think Peter will attest to that. Amen to that, my but friend. He grew, he grew close to many of them. And uh, so people knew that I was straight. <laughs> invariably within five minutes after uh, being on screen, there was a lady in a love scene with me which I enjoy thoroughly. And I was, I was also very much concerned about the, the cast, and as you know, they had, uh, had a very successful first season, and then put me in for some reason, and I was very worried about their reaction to me and to the costumes. And that was your question, really. And uh, I don't think that I got Peter's respect until about three months into the <laughs> shooting of the program, on a Friday night, uh, we were shooting, I think it was 10 o'clock at night, everybody wanted to go home, but we had to wait for one of my costumes to arrive. It was being pressed. And by the time it got there, I was so fed up that I took it, and there was a horse's trough with water, and I threw it in there. And I saw Peter look at me with a look of respect. 